This is why I don't recommend uh, getting products from this company or be very careful if you if you do. Um, you know, the cost of the product is not cheap by any means and you expect a quality product and if there is a problem you expect the company to stand behind their product with, re with replacements. So I've got the Evolve 80 and the Evolve 75 that being said however and um, the issue that I faced with the 80 is uh, described here to their customer service. I reached out over Facebook Messenger and uh, I mentioned how they're peeling so this material on the headset that goes around the ears uh, it's um, they, they describe it as leatherette so you can see the link that the representative sent me to down here and uh, they describe it as leatherette so I would describe it as as a kind of like a faux leather um, you think of a it's, it's very common to use on furniture or couch um, to give a leather look but at a cheap price and uh, you know it's it's one of those things I learned to avoid because when they peel they're very ugly uh, especially for a couch and for the headset you know you want something smooth that's going on your face here you know you don't want um, a peeled off surface you know on your face and and what happens once they start to peel is you get the little black you know peeling stuff that just comes off randomly you know so once they start it it's just downhill from there so uh, getting to the point you know here you can see from the conversation I, I was expecting that they would you know give some kind of replying of about a replacement or something like that that could be done However, you know, they just sent me to their website to uh, purchase these, and I was thinking, okay, I wonder how expensive they are. It's pretty expensive, I think, for that piece, and I, I think most importantly, it, it's ridiculous for them to um, not stand behind the product and go for replacing it, um, or at least sending those, those pieces out if they're expecting them to fail and therefore they sell them uh, so that you can have replacements uh, it seems like they would have some type of warranty coverage okay you you've purchased within a year or two years or something like that here's your replacement earpieces but if you think about it if those things don't even last a year well that's that's pretty ridiculous as well uh, I just want to say also on my 75s, you know, that's the Bluetooth set. Uh, the issue I face with those is just after a short period of time, that battery just doesn't last. So while the battery itself has a good capacity to be able to last, you know, some at least a day, um, it's it, it's became um, it's it's broken down much quicker than I expected. So think about it. you get a new phone, you charge it up, and, and how long does it take to go from that 100% down to nothing? And with this headset, you know, it, it, I think it's a fresh charge up. is like it's at 14 hours, supposedly, and it will say how many hours are remaining whenever you turn it on. And I've got it in the habit where I turn it off after a meeting because I'm concerned of the battery going down so quickly. So... Like if I recall this last charge up, you know, it was like 14, 10, 5. And I have not spent 4 hours and 5 hours using the the 75's, you know, Bluetooth headset. I have not experienced the peeling on the 75's yet though. So if I were to recommend the 75 versus the 80, um, the 80 of course is better for uh, noise, you know, blocking out the sound because it covers the ear. The 75 is great for being able to stand up, walk around, not have a cable, uh, you know, if you connect it to the computer. So uh, the 75 is nicer in that way, and they haven't peeled yet. But the initial point of this video is to say, hey, this company puts a high price tag on their headsets, but 
it seems from this experience that they don't stand behind it. This really surprised me and that's why I'm making this video to share with you. So you can consider this if you're considering buying one of their products. Now I want to mention one other thing I forgot, excuse me, is aside from the peeling, which was the main thing, where I've got the mouse cursor right here, they've actually opened up. So what, that's what I mean by this previous message and that they've opened up is that there's a seam right here that's going around where this top material is connected to the bottom material and this is going around some foam. Now the foam is really good, it's very comfortable to have, but of course um, you, you want something to layer between that foam and that's what they've done here. Unfortunately, this seam here has broken on one of the, the earpiece sides and I'm just really surprised about that too. I, I would think that that seam would never break. The peeling I would expect yeah, to occur before that would occur. But uh, both of these issues are what I faced on mine.